kittens, it's Peggy from prettypapercards.com, Peggy Noe, and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and we are so happy that you are joining us today. We're going to have a great Facebook Live. I've got several things to show you. I'm checking here to see if I'm live, and I'm not totally seeing it, so let me check here. And confirm okay there we are it was a little different of a sign in today they changed a few things and so I'm glad to see that I'm live it's so good to see all of you how are you today how's the weather where you are Brian King I have been thinking about you hey how are you doing Diane Emerson sunny Alabama Wow um, well, today, let's see, hey, okay, I'm checking out what you guys are saying. Um, it's so good to see you, and a little hint about what we're going to be doing today. Ellie has a little cupcake bow. Let me see if I can get her, get her on the camera. There it is. That's her little, hi, Ray. That's her little cupcake bow, and we're going to make a cupcake paper clip today, or a bookmark. But I'm going to show you a couple things first. So let's get started with what our, annou our announcements. Our announcements, we have celebration still going on. It's almost the end of August and we still have another month. But what I wanna tell you, a rainy day in Georgia. Wow, it's sunny here, but it, we did have rain last week. Um, so what I wanna tell you about celebration is there's a month left of celebration till the end of September and you might know that for any $50 order, $50 or more, you can choose a free gift from the Celebration catalog. And I know some of you know this because we've been using some of the Celebration products, haven't we, as we've been doing our Facebook Lives. So you've been seeing them. But I just want to remind you, don't let this um, slip by and not get your free prize. Lots of great gifts. But I also wanted to tell you, and ask you actually if you have ever thought about becoming a demonstrator. That's what I do, but you don't have, I'm gonna put Ellie down, she's getting a little buggy. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I joined Stampin' Up! I was uh, attending classes, and this was nine years ago, I can't believe it, I've been doing this nine years. And I was attending some classes and I wanted to know more. I wanted catalogs. I wanted to get the catalogs before anybody else. I couldn't stand to wait till this girl gave them to me. And in addition, I loved the products and I started buying the products and I wanted a discount. And when you're a demonstrator, you uh, begin with a 20% discount on every product that you purchase. And then you move up to 25%. And that's why I joined and I just joined for the discount and then I had some friends who wanted to make cards with me they came over and they started buying things and all of a sudden I didn't even have to pay my I, I, I was paying for my own habit and it was fun and I wanted to let you know that um, during celebration there's a really special deal on getting the starter kit you can get one of 11 different bundles, and I actually have them printed out. I can't actually show them to you, but I thought I might tell them to you. So you get a starter kit for $99. You get $125 worth of product absolutely um, for the $99. So you get $26 extra in product. You choose it all. It all ships to you free. Huge. That's like a 10% discount. And right now, until September 30th, you get to choose a free bundle. So I'm going to read them off to you and see if there are any of them that you've been looking at. So there's the Arctic Bear Bundle, the Beauty of Tomorrow Bundle, Christmas Season Bundle. Now, the Christmas to Remember Bundle is the most expensive one that you can get for free. It's valued at $60.25, and you can get that free if you wanted to join Stampin' Up! The Frosted Gingerbread Bundle, Darling, Gorgeous Leaves, Nature's Harvest, Peaceful Cabin, Peaceful Deer. To go with the paper during celebration, you can get free. Penguin Place Bundle, 
and the sweet little stockings bundle, which is the one that has little dogs and cats. So cute. So I just wanted to let you know about that. I, I don't want you to go, I don't want that to pass you by. If it's something that interests you, if you'd like to get a discount on all your Stampin' Up! products, it's a great way to do it. You can join my team. We have a lot of fun together. So, okay, I am going to announce our prize winner from last week. Last week, if you left a comment on my blog or on my YouTube channel or on this Facebook Live, you were entered to win um, a whole package of black glitter paper. Is that what it's? Black glitter paper. And my, the winner was we had actually 20 different people commenting and many of you left lots of comments. I had lots of comments. But out of the 20 people, you know I do the random number generator and the winner was Louise Hilger from Daytona Beach. So Louise, if you come on today or if you are watch, if you see it on my blog or on YouTube, let me know because I need your address in Daytona Beach. I will try to contact you. But what I do, I want to let you know, when you win a pack of paper, I cut it up in six by six because it's way too expensive for me to mail if it's not cut up. But I'm telling you that because next week's prize is <clears throat> the hand pen designer series paper, an entire pack. I will cut it up. But leave a comment whether you're on YouTube, you're watching on YouTube, or you're watching on my, um, where I put it on my blog, where I put the video, or if you're watching live with me right now. Kay's Card, hello, good to see you. Tammy, good to see you. Um, Pam, excellent, and Allison. Yes, I am happy you're here too, Allison. So leave me a comment and you can be entered to win um, to get this beautiful, hand pen paper. Am I saying it right? Hand pen designer series paper. Okay, so what I have for you today, I'm going to turn the camera down. Now we're not going to make this card, but it's a sample, okay? So I'm going to turn the camera down, and this is, this is going to be posted on my blog tomorrow. It's a card that I already made, and it's easy, it's really easy, but the thing that enamored me is this adorable cupcake. I absolutely love it. And probably because it's from one of my very favorite stamp sets, Sweets and Treats. I love this stamp set. It has all kinds of wonderful holiday food. It has a cloche, and you all know I like cloches. Um, and it can be birthday, or it can be any kind of holiday. Um, you know, you can use it Thanksgiving. This is um, some of you told me the last time it's an English cake, an English cake or a pie. I want to say Pepperidge Farm, but <laughs> you guys know what it is. I'll, I'd have to look it up, but it's very cute. At first, I thought it was a curtain to go on top of the, of the cloche, but I was immediately corrected. So, um, but I love this cupcake, and I'm going to hold this up a little, a little bit closer to you so that you can see the cupcake. Now the card is easy. You know, it's just layered. This is from the Scallop Contour dies. I did a little uh, watercolor wash. But the big deal here is this cupcake. So I got to thinking, I would love to have a cupcake paper clip or to use for a paper clip or a bookmark. I know that's funny, but one time I bought a product on Etsy, um, a, a book cover, and the girl sent me this little donut uh, paper clip bookmark to, to put in there. And so it looks like, an, oh, the other, yes, the, the, the British cake. So I thought, why not use this adorable cupcake and put it on a paper clip? Now, I have some interesting, kind of fun looking paper clips in my craft room, so I used one of those. And I decided to put a bow on the back because when you turn it around, like when you turn around the one I received, it's kind of like, like looking in someone's garage or something, right? It's not, it's not really pretty. So I thought, let's put a bow. And of course it's gonna be a pink bow. You know, that's my favorite color. So we have a bow on the back, but it looks kind of cute from the front. So now I wanted to also tell you, I have watercolored this and I'm gonna show you today if you are going, oh no, I'm turning this off, she's gonna be watercoloring. 
I don't want you to do that because this is the easiest bit of watercoloring. It's it can't even hardly be called watercoloring. It's like it's like put little dots with water. So easy. But in case you don't want to, I also made um, a little cupcake using Stampin' Blends. And I'll show you the blends here. These are the ones I used. The, the main color here is the um, um, polished pink. And then I used a bronze and a crumb cake to create this one. So this is the difference between your watercolored, and we're gonna heat emboss it, and then this is the Stampin' Blends. I think they're both adorable. I just kind of think the uh, embossed one with the little watercolor dots is just a little bit more, just more fun. I forgot to put my little face in there. So let's get started. And we are gonna start with a piece of, because we're gonna do the little easy watercoloring, we're gonna start with a, pa a piece of shimmery white cardstock. It's in the Stampin' Up! catalog, and you use this when you wanna do a little watercoloring. I wouldn't use it for heavy watercoloring. We have, we have um, another kind of paper, official watercolor paper for that. But when you're just gonna do a little bit, the shimmery white absorbs the water very nicely. So I am going to start by heat embossing so that my watercolor stays within the lines. So I'm gonna use the Versamark stamp pad. And here's my cute, look at that adorable stamp. Is that too cute? So here is the little cupcake stamp and I'm gonna put it on here with Versamark ink and stamp it right on there. And then we're going to just um, put it in some of our white stamping emboss powder and I keep it in this little um, oh what is it it's called Ziploc a Ziploc container and I keep my embossing powder in there and then what I can do is just shake it like that until it gets over for a small bit this is really easy to do for a little small image and then you just shake it off and there it is just blow on it a little bit I'm going to, sometimes I get out my, um, a paintbrush that I have just sitting around and I go around it just a little bit in case some of that emboss powder got where I didn't want it to go because I really see a little bit right there. Okay, let's see. But we are going to cut it out, actually. So now I'm going to bring in my heat tool and we're just gonna heat this until it melts. The, the powder melts, the embossing powder melts, and that's how you know if it's done or not. This is kind of our chemistry, Stampin' Up's chemistry trick. I'm not big on chemistry, but I know it's something to do with chemistry, and probably physics, another subject I don't like too much. Okay, it looks like it's all melted, so we're all ready. Let me just put this back. Now we're all ready to do some watercoloring. And I'm gonna show you how to do, this is easy peasy watercoloring. And I do it a really easy way where I press the back center of my pad on the cover and you have to press kind of hard. And then what that does is it puts some ink on the, the lid. And then I just use that to do my watercoloring. This is a water painter, one of Stampin' Up's water painters. It comes in a set of three, a teeny tiny brush end, very thin, a very fat brush end, and then this medium one, which I find that I use the most. So I'm just gonna put, let me raise this up just a hair. I'm just gonna put a few dots of water in there, just a little bit. I'm telling you, this isn't messy. I'm wearing a white blouse, and I would not be wearing it if this were a messy situation. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, it's a little bit hard to see for you guys. I'm sorry, if I used black, it would have looked better, but who wants a black cupcake, right? So I'm just gonna barely, it's such a, it's just a delicate little thing. All you do is just put a few drops right there in the swirly frosting. I want to have pink swirly frosting. Now I was trying to think of what flavor it might be. Strawberry, cherry, or maybe just good old white buttercream colored in pink, huh? And then what I decided to do is darken the top th 
two, the top one and the third one of, this, of the swirls, just to give it a little bit of interest. So all I'm doing, you can see, is now I'm going in where there's more ink in here. And I'm barely touching it, just barely. I mean, this is so easy. How many of you watercolor? I'd like to know how many of you do even this easy little bit of watercoloring. <clears throat> or do you not like watercoloring? Let me know. Maybe you don't like watercoloring, but I'm hoping to change your mind here. Ooh, I meant to get out my little grid paper. This is a mini grid paper um, from the Stamparatus, and it just allows me to clean my my uh, water painter. So that's all we're doing for the frosting, okay? And doesn't that look kind of good with the two stripes? Let me hold it up for you so you can see it better. So that is the frosting. And now we're going to color our, whoops, that's okay because we're gonna cut this out. We're going to color our uh, cupcake paper. That's what they call that, the paper that holds the cupcake in place. And this is soft suede, and I'm doing the same thing, just adding one or two dots. I don't want a lot of color. I just want it a little bit brown because I have decided that the um, paper was probably a white cupcake paper. See, I'm getting a little too much water, so I'm going to get some off. I don't want much water at all, just very little. And I've decided this is a white cupcake paper, but because the cupcake is my very favorite chocolate, it kind of has turned the cupcake paper a little light brown. You know how that happens when you're actually eating a cupcake? The paper might look like the color of the cupcake inside. So that's why I'm just making this a little bit light brown by using the soft suede. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of a dark one and come along the bottom there and work up. So it looks kind of realistic, you know, it's not supposed to be perfect. Was I right? I mean, is this the easiest bit of watercoloring you've ever seen? Yes, you have to, Tammy. It's super easy. And now there's just a little bit in there where you can actually see the cake. And so this is going to be early espresso. I've decided my chocolate cake is probably flavored with a little coffee. I am a big coffee nut. Okay, so right in there, there's a little area that is what, what is the cake that shows out. And so I'm going to go ahead and just, this is the tiniest bit of watercoloring but I think it looks nice. I, I like it, I really do like it better than the blends for this particular project. And there's your cupcake. And now we're just gonna wash our brush off until the, we see that it runs clear. That might be a few minutes with the dark color, there we go. And then you just put this back um, with the pointed end up to store it. Let me see, where is it, there it is. With the pointed end up to store it. Okay, now we just we can set this paper aside and we are gonna fussy cut it. There are no dies for these, but it's really easy to fussy cut. Even if you don't like fussy cutting, it's easy. And the first thing I always do is cut away all the excess paper because that helps me. And then you wanna go on the outside of the embossed area. And I know it's hard for you guys to see because it's white on white, but actually, you can really easily see the embossed area and you just go with the swirls. Don't you love the swirls on the cupcake? My gosh, I love. We have the we have a darling cupcake place here in Escondido where I live called Cute Cakes. And I love to go there and I love to go with my girlfriends and we have they have salads and stuff but not only do they have cakes, but oh my goodness, do they have the absolutely best cupcakes. And you would not believe how good they are. I wish I had one here to show you. So there's our cupcake. Easy peasy, right? All right, now what are we gonna do to make it into a paper clip or rather a bookmark? So I've gotten out here my um, silicone mat. This is a Stampin' Up! silicone mat and I always use it when I'm using uh, a glue gun. We need to use a glue gun to get this. Um, oh yes, the watercoloring is dry already. Totally dry already. It really dries fast, Kay. 
lemon poppy seed scones. I've never had those there, Tammy. She lives in Escondido, just a few blocks from me. So she, and she's lived here longer, so she probably knows the scoop. So here's my little paper clip. My, my heat gun has been getting, um, rather it's the um, glue gun. It's been getting nice and um, the glue's been melting, so it's ready to go. And now I'm going to use also, again, the polished pink ribbon, since this is kind of a polished pink theme. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. It's, it's really easy. I always take more ribbon than I need. That is one of, the, one of the tricks, and I might not have taken enough this time. And then another little trick to tying a bow, let me grab that little guy, is when you pull it through like this, oops, start again always keep this end down okay even when you do the pull through so let's try it again okay so we're gonna slide this loop in here just like that and we're gonna pull that guy through and we're gonna keep this down that tail down so that it ends up you know, being down. You don't want it to be going off crazy at the top there. So this is just a cute little bow that's going to go on the back of our little paper clip. So there we go. Cute bow. So first what we're going to do is turn our little cupcake over. I'm going to, let's see, it looks like this is the front of the paper clip and I want to do it on the back side. So I'm just going to line it up like that and put some glue right on it, right over it, just like that. And that's it. And then we're going to put our little bow right on top of that glue. A little bit got on my finger. You know how that happens. And then you have all the strings. I know. But this is really the only way to get it secured on there. Okay. Now we just need to let that dry a few seconds. <laughs> Don't you hate it when the, um, the, the little strings are all over the place? Yes, Allison's been to cute cakes too, I think. I think we've gone together, Allison, haven't we? And we like it. I like it. I love it. And there is our little, um, I'm going to try to turn it just a little bit. There's our little bookmark. Isn't that cute? A little paper, paper clip bookmark. And truthfully, you know what? You can use these as little gifts. You can slip them in your cards. Um, for example, if you happen to make this a card like this and you were giving it as a birthday gift, it is a birthday card because inside I put happy birthday. And if you pop on my blog tomorrow, you'll see all the instructions for that. And you could just enclose one of these or, or clip this on the inside of the card. One of these cute little little paper clip bookmarks. I just thought it was so cute I couldn't even stand myself. And I like to use these uh, little bookmarks just everywhere on my planner and everything. I just think they're so much fun. So let's get back here. Um, let's see. There we go. No, nope. Let's see. Okay. You're back. I just thought I'd show you a fun little project today. It's not a normal card, although I did show you a card, but I just thought it would be fun. And just to show you all the different things that you can do. And remember, if you don't want to do the watercoloring, do the Use the Stampin' Blends. Just as easy, just as cute, and you can make your cupcake in your flavor and with your color frosting that you want. <laughs> I thank you so much for stopping by today. I love each one of you. Thank you. Leave me a comment if you want to be entered in the drawing to get a full package of the hand pen designer series paper. And um, don't remember, don't forget um, about celebration and the fifty dollar bonus uh, at a fifty dollar order price. You will get a free gift. And also, if you'd love to join my team and get. 20% uh, off all of your purchases. I would love to have you do that. Uh, email me at Peggy at Pretty Paper Cards. There's also a tab on my blog about joining. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, um, 
weekend. Actually, what I forgot to tell you is on Friday, I'm not going to be here because um, Stampin' Up! leaders are attending uh, what's called Backstage. And that is a special conference, virtual, again like last year, for the leaders to learn more. And we've gotten gifts already. I can't show them to you until, well, it starts tomorrow. So hopefully I can show you and post on my Facebook page some of the things I've gotten. And we're going to have just a great time. So it's Thursday through Saturday. So I won't be on Facebook on Friday. I'll put up a little note, um, you know, gone to a fun conference. So I'll see you guys again next Wednesday, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by.